Can you sing me a song? Do you know this one by Taylor Swift? Have you heard the new one by Taylor Swift? Cause the play is gonna play, 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 and the hate is gonna hate, 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 hate. <laughs> baby. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake it up, shake it up. I'm trying to find my vocabulary. I found it. I'm listening now. Can you dance to Gundam style? Everyone loves my gang name style. Just a second. Oh, but Gundam style. So what you can see there is all the robot is, is just in a listening state. Watson is feeding it now what to say, also how to animate. So while the dances and the songs are cute, you can see though in parallel, Watson's feeding that information live. So when we move forward and we say, I'm pulled in here, Watson is providing the cognitive intelligence to say, make these movements and be speaking at this certain time. Our major use cases that we're targeting are on one age of the spectrum, children, so autism. Um, you know, they have a very hard time with facial expression, but here the robot's eyes light up and they automatically get it. Again, going back to showing emotion with text to speech. On the other spectrum, you know, elderly, uh, people that need care that aren't physically able to be moving around all the time, here we have the robot to act as that proxy. So that's the current work that we're working on with uh, integrated Watson technologies with robotics.